In this video, I'll be talking about the background position property. So by default, a background image is shown on the top left corner of an element. And if you want to move that element, you have to use the background position property. So let me show you the syntax. So let me write background position and I'll 50 pixels, 50 pixels. What this means is for whatever background image, I want to move it 50 pixels to the right and 50 pixels downwards. Of course, obviously I put in a selector, but this is just, a, I'm just showing the syntax here. And of course, as with all things programming, best if I show you an actual real example. So to help you understand, let's, so let's create a divider and let's give it an idea of thing. Let's set the height of thing to 2,800 pixels. I'm just picking a random big number. Let's set the width to the same thing, to 800 pixels. Let's set the background color to red. Let's set the value of background size to 150 pixels in both sides. So we want to make the background image into a square that's 150 pixels. Because the original image is much larger than this, so we want we need to set it to the appropriate size that we want it. And remember one thing, if the background image is smaller than your divider and you don't set background repeat to anything, it will fill your screen. And in this case, we don't actually want that, so we need to set background repeat. Oops. Background repeat, I want to set to no repeat because I don't want it to repeat. So our background image, the file I am using is called cat.png. And last but not least, I'm going to set the background position property. And let's move it 100 pixels right and 100 pixels downwards. So let me show you how this looks like in a browser. So as you can see, the cat is not directly at the corner. Notice how the background image has moved. And now, if I don't set background position, here's what happens. Let me erase background position. Yep, notice the difference. The cats move back to the top left corner. So that's how it would look if I didn't set background position. Anyways, this about finishes this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll see you next time.